Hey everyone, today I'll show you how to create a mesh network using two DIR L1900s. To create a mesh network, you'll first need to configure one of the DIR L1900s in router mode. And all additional DIR L1900s will need to be configured in extender mode. If you have not already configured the first unit as a router, I've included the link in the description which will guide you on how to do so. Once you have configured the first unit as a router, you'll be ready to set up the second unit and create a whole home mesh network. In the box, you should have received a router, power adapter, ethernet cable, quick install guide, and a quick install card. For this setup, I will be using an Android phone. However, if you're using an iPhone or an iPad, the steps will be similar. Now, in order to set up the unit, you'll need to download the D-Link Wi-Fi app from the Google Play Store. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you can download the app from the App Store. Launch the Google Play Store on your device, search for D-Link Wi-Fi, and install the app. To begin the setup, launch the D-Link Wi-Fi app. If you get a prompt to turn off your mobile data, please do so. Once the setup is complete, you can turn it back on. Tap on the menu icon on the top left. Tap install new device. Tap on scan the QR code and scan the code that is on the bottom of the router or on the quick install card. Since we are creating a mesh network and have already set up the first unit as a router, I will show you how to configure the second unit as an extender. Swipe to the left and select extender mode. Tap select. During configuration, I would recommend that you bring the unit in the same room as the router. Once the setup is complete, you can move the extender. Tap next. Plug in the unit to a power outlet. Tap next. While the unit is booting up, the LED on the front will be solid red. It will start flashing orange once it's ready for setup. If the LED on the front of the unit does not turn on at all, check the power button on the back of the device and make sure it is in the on position. Once the LED on the unit starts to blink orange, tap next. If you're using an Android device, you will be automatically connected to the default signal of the unit. If you're using an iPhone or an iPad, you will be prompted to join the default signal of the unit. The device is rebooting and switching to extender mode. You may notice the LED turn solid red and turn back to flashing orange. Here you will see a list of available Wi-Fi networks. Tap on the Wi-Fi network of your first DIR L1900 that you set up in router mode. In this example, mine is called Home. If you don't see your Wi-Fi network listed, press the refresh button on the top right hand side or scroll up. Tap Next. You will now be prompted to enter the Wi-Fi password of your network you just selected. This is the Wi-Fi password of your first DIR L1900's Wi-Fi network. Tap Next. You will need to configure admin password for your unit. This password is required when you want to make changes to your configuration. This is not your Wi-Fi password. Once done, tap Next. To ensure your device has the latest updates, tap on Keep My Device Up To Date Automatically. When a software update is available, it will be automatically installed on your device without the need of you manually updating it. Tap Next. Here you will see a summary of the changes you have made. I would recommend making a note of this information for future use. Tap Save. The device is applying your settings and rebooting. The LED on the unit should turn solid white. If the unit remains flashing orange, this means that the unit was unable to connect to your home network. The most common reason for this is incorrect Wi-Fi password for your home network. 
If your unit continues to flash amber at this step, then you will need to reset the unit by pressing the reset button on the bottom of the unit for 1 to 2 seconds. Then start the setup again. Otherwise tap next. Unplug the power to the unit and move it halfway between the router and the area that you're trying to extend the signal to. Tap next. Once you have moved the unit, go ahead and plug in the unit to a power outlet. For the best signal possible, I would recommend that you put the unit in an open area. Tap next. The LED on the unit should turn solid white. If the LED does not turn white, then please move the unit closer to the router. Tap next. You have successfully set up a mesh network. Tap finish. Now you can manage the router and the extender using the D-Link Wi-Fi app. To manage your device, tap network, then tap the device you want to make changes to. Thank you for watching. For more videos and other helpful resources on how to get the most out of your D-Link device, please visit support.dlink.ca or support.dlink.com.